All right, y'all. G Emoji Sports TV back with another one. So just got done watching the Danny Jacobs versus Chavez Jr. fight. And <laughs> this was a weird fight. The buildup for the fight was, you know, trying to get uh, Chavez Jr. to fight, having legal situations, and dude couldn't make weight, you know what I'm saying? Then coming into the fight as a cruiserweight, 200 pounds, if not more, you know, outweighing his opponent. So, you know, Chavez Jr. really is just, you know, he's mentally inept. He just mentally does not care for the sport, disrespect the sport of boxing, and most importantly, disrespect his father's legacy. You know, you're a junior. You're Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. And you disrespecting the, the, the your legacy, your father's legacy, by just quitting. You know what I'm saying? You quit multiple times in your career, and you know um, it's it's just a shame, man. You know Chavez Jr. Even though he came in at he even though he came in really heavy and on the fight, you know he was having some success in the in the fight versus Danny Jacobs, especially when Danny Jacobs decided to brawl instead of box the bigger guy. But when he was trying to brawl, you know um, he was getting caught. He was getting caught with right hands and. You know, stuff like that. And, and Chavez would have his success at times. But, you know, the dude, the weight was an issue. When he, around like round four, round five, or whatever the case may be, he was getting tired as far as Chavez Jr. Um, and then round five, uh, Chavez Jr. quits. You know what I'm saying? Round five. And um, so. <laughs> It's just an embarrassment, man. This dude just needs to stay out the ring. It's my opinion. He needs to stay out the ring. Um, he's already basically trashed. He already basically trashed his father's legacy. Um, so that's that. As far as Danny Jacobs, man, <clears throat> it's unfortunate that he's coming out party to 168. He had to fight a, a cruiserweight, and like he said in the post-fight interview, he fought a cruiserweight. So it's not. It's kind of really hard to gauge, but at the same time, um, he was at times he was trying to brawl like his coach said you don't need to you don't need to uh steal a round to win a round I, I i thought that was very good what he, what he had what he said yeah that's that spoke a lot when he said you don't have to steal a round to win a round when all you gotta do is box you're doing too much you know what i'm saying and especially fighting against a bigger guy who's 200 pounds you know outweighs you by probably 40 plus pounds or so um but um, as far as you know, Danny Jacobs, man, I think he'll have some. I think he'll have success at 168. I'd love to see him fight uh, Jamal Charlo. I'd love to see him fight him. Um, I don't. I, I, I don't think he's well. You know what? It, it, it could be a competitive fight with him and Callum Smith. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the killers at 168, like uh, Caleb Plan and Benavidez. He's not ready for those guys. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'd like to see him fight Jamal. Um, Jamal Charlo. You know what I'm saying? Um, get a rematch with Triple G. Triple G need to move up to 168. 160, I, I, you know. Triple G need to move up, man. Straight up, man. He's getting older. He's a like damn near 40. He's 37. He need to move up. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I, I think, you know, Danny Jacobs is a good way for uh, 168. Is, is 168 is a good way for Danny Jacobs. I'd like to see more. Of what he can do in 2020 you know what i'm saying but uh yeah those are my thoughts about the fight family leave your comments down below uh very disappointed with chavez jr um i think he should just retire just call it a day man you know mentally he's not there he's never been there for quite some time and i've never seen a post-fight interview with what motherfuckers is ducking debris out the crowd it was like there was ducking gunshots they was going like this and shit you know what i'm saying i I ain't never seen that shit before. Even the even the announcers were getting pummeled with with um with debris, beer cans and cups and stuff like that, man. You know, it is what it is. But those are my thoughts on that family. Leave your comments down below. GMOG Sports TV. Like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to all the 100 subscribers. Uh, I want to reach 200 by the end of January. So I'm going to try to get like, I want to try to average 100 subscribers each month. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to my 100 subscribers family. Until next time, GMOG Sports TV signing out. Peace.